All right, people, welcome back to some more Daily Duel. So today is Thursday, and that means that we are using Burning Abyss. Ew, sound is bad, because aren't you more? Yeah, you are. Of course you are. Uh, I mean, the number generator is here, but I didn't get, I didn't get, I didn't open up well enough to be, to really consider this just anything. Like, wow. Just, mmm. Ugh, anyway. Uh, Burning Abyss Day, and I was planning on doing this being like a separate video. Oh, it's just chicken rice off DK. Awesome. Awesome. So, just chicken rice off DK. You know what? I'm gonna sit here. I'm gonna take it. Just so you guys can see the stupidity of this fucking LTK. <laughs> it's fucking stupid. I said chicken rice. Ch so, chicken rice DK. Chicken rice. So, so, chicken rice DK. Like, I want to see something. I want to see. I want to see if I stop the Royal Magical Library. I want to see how far this this deck can go, because I feel like I. I the funny thing is, I did card review. I did chicken race and I talked about the okay, I want to see how far they can go with that Royal Magical Library, because I think the Royal Magical Library is probably good. Good. See, I knew good. I knew that was the good. Oh, it's the Problem card. Knew it. I know, I know Librarius. See? Look at that. He went from Chicken Race FDK, you're gonna get it, to fucking, uh. Let's try it. That could be dumb. It's the only way that this deck can win. I don't give a fuck. Like, shit. So, like, it shouldn't even be that. But I'm just getting distracted. I don't even. I don't, I don't need to draw cards. I'll just pay a thousand and destroy it. You don't need it. You definitely don't need it. So, unlike other decks that are sacky and stully. This deck doesn't have any form of protection. It literally just chicken raise royal magic card and tries to get you like that. But like I said, I wanted to see if I stopped the royal magic library, what would this deck do? No. Now if it gets another royal magic library, I mean I don't got another card for it. I just want to see if I stopping one would be enough. Yeah. So go ahead and pay a thousand, draw a card. See, it's it's just it's like you play another one. It's like the new upstart. I already did a card reviewing. Anyway, we're using Burning Abyss today, and I wanted to do like this in a separate video, but I was like, you know what, screw it. So, uh, this video is uh, going to be me talking about the new Burning Abyss support, the one that came in uh, Cross Souls, because I <laughs> it came out and I was during break, and I was like, ah, I don't know, maybe I'll do a separate video. I don't know, screw it. I'll just do it in this burning of this video. I'm running out of things to talk about anyway in these freaking videos, because, uh, there you go, I got another Royal Magical Library. Awesome. Awesome. So, awesome. So, yeah, you got it. So stupid. So stupid. Stupid. I really should be banned. So, yeah, yeah, you, you guys are about to see this, because you're going to see, you're like, yeah, Royal Magical Library should be the one. I mean, I guess I should go ahead and act activate Vandy, so he'll stop fucking asking me while this guy goes off with his plays. Yeah, OCG, OCG though. Not here. Here, I mean, it's not even out yet. Eventually, when it comes out, they'll probably just copy, but, like I said, this card is just stupid. Like, this card should be banned. Go ahead and activate this Vandy, so it'll stop asking me. And uh, since he's going to be going off with this play, and I don't have to pay attention to the duel right now, I'm just going to go ahead and uh, review these cards. Because, I, like I said, I wanted to go ahead and just just review the, the, the Burning Abyss support. So, let's see, Pseudo Space, getting them counters, or a Magical Library, or a counter, draw a card. It's just dumb. Like, you're already going to activate these spell cards, so it's not like you're negging from necking, activating these spell cards, because you're already going to activate them in the first place. But then you're just building up counters on a Magical Library just to fucking draw a card. It's fucking stupid. Like, like, it's really dumb. Oh. 
Which I'm wondering if he's gonna run out of light points, but I doubt it. He should be okay. Because he's just got his golden bamboo swords and his magical mallets and his reloads. Like, so yeah, we're gonna look at what they got. Like, Borneo has got four new cards and cross souls, and um, go over each one of the cards and give my opinion about them. But you guys can just sit here and enjoy the chicken race and realize how fucking stupid this is. Just in case, because I was I, I, when I did the episode of card review, I was like, well. I'm talking about chicken race, but I don't have any examples of it. Oh, he's running tune table. Uh, I mean, I guess I added that. Hey, why not? Why not? Uh, like I said, I, I did the car review on chicken race, but I didn't give my opinion. Oh, I didn't have an example of the FTK. You know, I was thinking about maybe linking somewhere. Like, uh, I know Simon Sigmund did a video of him doing the chicken race FTK. And I was thinking about linking his video, but screw it. You got hit right here. So I got hit in Daily Duel, so you can clearly see how fucking retarded this is. So, uh, yeah, let's just go ahead and get started. So, uh, they got two new monsters, but two new, no, just regular, uh, effect monsters, fiends, and, uh, then, then a fusion card, and then a fusion monster. So, starting it off, they have Barbar, -bar, 1700 attack, 1000 defense, so it's the strongest burning abyss, then the usual burning abyss, burning abyss effect, with its own individual effect being that, uh, when it's sent to the graveyard, you can banish three burning abyss cards you up to three burning abyss cards uh you know except for a bar bar and you get to deal 300 damage to your opponent for each of them banished uh i don't like this card i think this card's dumb and unnecessary i mean maybe the strongest burning abyss monster uh of course being at uh 1700 but you don't need to run it like there's a difference between it and cowboy Alright, now you're just now you're just playing yourself. Like I said, see? Go ahead and grab like I said, this deck can just easily, easily just go. It's ridiculous. Yeah. Anyway, magic hyper, it's not helping. It's all stupid. You, you wouldn't even have a monster to equip the cursed bamboo sword to use your golden bamboo swords if it wasn't for uh Royal Magic Library. Like that that's that's the dumb thing. Yeah. So you see in all this right now, it's Royal Magic Library's problem. You see, I stopped the Royal Magic Library and he just stopped. But as soon as he got that magical library, he just goes to go stupid. He can literally draw his entire deck. Look at that. He, this man drew out his entire fucking deck. See? Then I'm gonna draw. He's gonna go ahead and flip up Life Equalizer and then flip up um, <coughs> Magical Explosion. These are these two cards that are left, and that's the game. Do it. Cow Cab is just being jerk. <laughs> like, I just did all the one. I didn't even draw that well for Burning Abyss. You know, I could have easily got crushed by a regular opponent, let alone just FDK. But yeah, I don't think Barbar -bar should be played. You don't need, you don't need it. The difference between that and Cowboy is that Cowboy, you'll always have access to because it's an extra deck. You know, you don't have to worry about drawing at the wrong time. And you generally don't want to banish your Burning Abyss cards anyway. You know, that's just a... Yep. Yep. I paid the thousand. See, and that is the problem with uh, your FTK. So, uh, hold on. I will explain what happened. So, bear back. Alright, so here is the problem that he ran into. This is the card that he wanted to activate. This is called Life, this card, life Equalizer. Uh, the difference between our life points is 8,000 or more. Uh, we both become 3,000. And then he goes ahead and plays Magical Explosion. Which, uh, let me go ahead and search that card out, which is actually a card out one that, uh, people don't really know of because it just hasn't been out, it's been out relevance, but it's been sitting out one for forever. So, you have to discard when you have no cards in your hand, which, of course, you won't because you activated, um, Into the Void. To, so, during the phase, you lost all your cards, then you pretty much, you inflict 200 to your opponent's life points for each spell card in your graveyard. So, 200 times all of them spell cards. Like I said, they run three monsters and two traps and... 35 fucking spells, so you're gonna get burned, you know, and you can clearly see he could just keep drawing and drawing and drawing and drawing and drawing and drawing So the problem that he ran into it and the reason why he lost is because Chicken race is an FTK it straight up is an FTK and if it's not an FTK and you mess up you might you might fall, you know, so 
the, the problem with him is that our life points were th different than 8,000 because not only did I pay that 1,000 to go ahead and destroy his chicken race the first time, which means that I lost 1,000 life points, but I also activated got Solemn Loin, which means he was 3,000 life points. So even with his upstarts, he couldn't get that difference of 8,000 because I was only at 7,000 life points. So he couldn't, you can't drop lower than zero, you're going to lose. So he pretty much lost because I played Solemn Morning and I played, paid the 1,000 to destroy his chicken race. So yeah, you know. But like I said, it's generally FTK. He's going to go ahead and before I can even do anything, he's going to go ahead and go into chicken race and do all the plays and do all the plays. So definitely, uh, I'm not sure. I'm not sure if it's Yuki Sagi, this card. Super expensive in the set, but this card might actually be the perfect way to stop a, a chicken race. And I think that's what OCG is like signing, uh, is this card. Because pretty much as soon as your opponent will go, all right, activate the effect of Royal Magic Library, you draw a card, you just go Yuki Sagi, and then just go, yeah. So, yeah. You know, it's like the one of those things. But like I said, uh, you can clearly see that Royal Magic Library was a stupid one. The whole play was stupid, but like I said, the only monster they run is Royal Magic Library. If you ban Royal Magic Library, I, I'd say that they're do, they're pretty much going to attempt to do the chicken race, but they're going to run out of resources. Like, that extra... The, um, they neg in every single one of their plays, except for the Golden Bamboo Sword, which is just kind of dumb anyway. But uh, they neg on every single one of their plays, and... That Royal Magical Library keeps them in because it keeps on giving them that free draw. Like every time they activate three spell cards that they're going to activate anyway, they get that free draw. So it keeps uh, the engine going. Um, like I said, uh, it should be Royal Magical Library. That's a dumb one, but I'm just glad I got to go ahead and show you guys the decay because I already did the card review about it. So there you go. Just watch Daily Duels, and uh, if you haven't already, uh, look at card review and get more of my opinion of it. So. Uh, we're gonna get another duel in. I'm gonna continue talking about the Burning Abyss, and uh, yeah, right back. All right, I'm done with watching uh, Mr. Chicken Race watch me play with myself. So hopefully we can get a duel in. Sounds not terrible. It's doable. Yeah, it's doable. I'm gonna go ahead and set this, and then set these, and pair my butt. Pair my what what in the butt. So, yeah, I'm not a big fan of Chicken Race or the FTK, especially the FTK, because you're just playing with yourself. Like, you don't even care what deck I'm running or anything. You're just trying to draw as many cards you can, get those two cards, and win before I can even take my turn. Like, I'll just draw, you play those two cards this game. So, definitely it's going to be addressed in the OCG, because you don't know how Konami feels about loops and FTKs and OTKs and shit like that. So, anyway. Like I said, I was talking about Barbar. I don't think so. Maybe it's just, maybe it's just me, but I don't think Barbar is going to be played. Ooh, shells. Alright, well this is gonna be a hard one. He's in the fire? No, he's in his train. I'll go ahead and just get rid of Shikinaga. I don't feel like dealing with her fucking ass anyway. Like, absolutely not. So it's train. Shadal, I'm guessing this is some kind of OCG deck. With trains and shadows and you know, real ruffian, real cannons and shit like that. So I not only do I have to deal with Shiki Naga and shadows, I'm also gonna have to deal with Dora too. Ooh, this is gonna be a tough one. Yep, I'm gonna have to deal with Dora. So please let me draw a Burning Abyss monster. I don't care who it is. Thank you. I don't care if it's the same fucking Burning Abyss monster. Thank you, because I have Fire Lake. So as soon as he goes fucking summon, summon, I'm gonna fucking Fire Lake his ass. So actually, I should have went into Dante. Yeah, should have won the Dante. Oops. Oh, and he runs track. Okay, I guess. Nah, you can have that. You can have that now, you want to I'm going to Dante. Yeah, I should have won the Dante and build. But you guys know how I feel about Burning Abyss and milling, so. I should have summoned you in defense mode. Oh my god. So fucking bad. It's being bad right now. Um, I'm running one of this, which I will talk about that in a second, which is actually the next card. So, uh, Draghig. 
Killing your C, 1100 attack, 1900 defense, and his individual fact is that when sent to the graveyard, you can choose one Burning Abyss card in your deck and place it on top of your deck. So, is it like super good? Not really, but you know, it's a fine card. I'll, I'll give it that. It's a fine card. So, like I said, I'm gonna go ahead and wait. I'm, I'm mad that I summoned fucking Dante in attack mode, but it's okay. I don't worry, worry about that. I'm gonna wait for him to go ahead and uh, summon his train. So, when he goes summon. Activate summon, then I'm gonna go ahead and fire like him. And pop pop the two trains and the revolving switchyard. I don't care about the Tragodia, I can deal with him in a second, but and the Tragodia is gonna get weaker when he summons the trains out of his hand anyway, so like I said, I'm not worried about that. They drop down to twelve hundred? Yeah, I, I can deal with that. I can deal with that next turn. Oh, he's just gonna top deck another fucking Shadow Fusion. Awesome. So that's fucking awesome. So now I can send from his deck. Awesome. Awesome. So you get one Shadow Fusion. I deal with that. You get another one. Like, awesome. So not only I do with Dora, but I gotta deal with the Shadow Fusion monster that's gonna be somebody, which of course is gonna be another fucking Shiki Naga. Like, damn. Now I really gotta think about what I wanna get rid of now. Yeah, I'll play it. And I'll get rid of Do 3 because you're gonna summon me back a Burning Abyss monster. So, I can fire like you again, unless I can only activate one fire like per turn. No, I can activate more, more than once per turn. One, two, three. <sighs> of course, he's gonna go ahead and get back his uh, fucking Shadal Fusion. Yes. Yes. Uh, go ahead and get me back, sir. No. Ugh. Fucking Shadal Fusion. Shadal's plus fucking powerful ass trains right now. It's just going so well. Like I said, I want him to go summon, summon them and fire like you again. Like, no. Stop. No trains, no, I can't pretty much, I can't exceed anymore. No, it's fine. So, go ahead and summon the crane, and I'm gonna fight like you again. Like, no Dora. It's bad enough I gotta fucking deal with the Shadals, but then I gotta deal with fucking Dora too? Like, damn. I can't exceed right now, because I don't even want to touch that shit off even with 10 pole, pole. Like, I'd rather just keep the door sane right now. Oh. That's awesome. Yeah, this man has everything. This door is driving me crazy right now. <sighs> Fuck. Oh. Fuck! Ugh. Fucking Shadal Fusion. Like, why did he have to get another fucking Shadal Fusion? Like, that, that's, the, that's the problem here. He got another fucking Shadal Fusion. If he didn't get another Shadal Fusion, I wouldn't be, get, I'd be in a totally fine position right now. But of course he gets another one. I'm like, fuck. Alright, I got a Divine Wrath. So, my mission right now is to kill that Night Express Knight, which is going to be very difficult because he has fucking 3,000 stats. Like... Uh, uh, these fucking, these ranks and shit don't do anything. There's no reason to go into anybody right now. There's really no reason to overextend. Uh. Uh huh. There's really no reason to overextend. I know it's the, the cards he has in his hand right now. The crane's not going to do anything. God, this deck. It's just like these rank threes don't have any fucking monster destruction. Like, that's the problem. I mean, none of them have any monster destruction. 
like, you know, removal at all. Zenmage is the best, but he's summoned in defense mode. Ugh. The best thing I should do is just to set the Divine Wrath, and if, you know, I was thinking about maybe trying to bait out the fucking monster. Maybe going to, to Dante just to bait out the Shadal fusion. Because at that point, I, you know, I could Virgil him. Thinking. Thinking. You keep getting its hits. I can take as slow as I want to, as long as the bar doesn't fill up, and at that point, it just passed the earth turn. I want to go fast in this duel, but I can't get around this guy. So I'm hoping you should do something with him, because... Turn to attack mode and come after me? That's fine, because I can make his end mains and then crash into you, and pop you, so... Like, this duel is driving me fucking crazy. Because this man keeps getting the tits, like... It's already bad enough to have to deal with trains, but then I gotta deal with Shadals too, like... You're just gonna have a bad time. <laughs> you're gonna have a bad time. If you try to deal with both, you're just gonna have a bad time. Summon you from the deck. Because I'm gonna be using you, so I'd like you in the graveyard anyway. Ah. Anyway, uh... Drakkies is okay. He's not good, he's not bad. Like I said, I probably just want to run one. I guess none of the should all fusion, so it's clearly something that he just drew. Oh, I got a ring destruction. Nice. So that would definitely help with my plans. So my plan right now is to go ahead and summon XC into Zen Main's crash and go ahead and pop. Then he plays Shadal Fusion. Sending. Summoning whatever. No. Uh it's just something stronger than his other mains. I wonder if he's going to send two Shadals. And... The only thing I'm worried about is him sending two Shadals and then summoning, like, window. Like, that would be, that would be, like, the ultimate thing. Like, I don't, summon, I don't care if he summons Construct. I don't care if he summons, uh, another Shikinaga. Which, at this point, was that already, uh, that's already two. You know, I don't care about them. What I care about, like I said, he just keeps getting the fucking tits. This duel is difficult. Ah. <sighs> I don't want to whip out the Virgil yet. I don't have the cards for him yet, no. I'm just going to his end means. I guess I got one to Virgil, but... Doesn't have to be like a Burning Abyss monster and a Burning Abyss tuner? What does it say? What does Virgil say? One tuner and one more non Oh, it's generic. Oh, well, I could have done with Tour Guide. Just the monster that I summoned with Tour Guide can't be used as a single material, so... Take the 15. Then activate them in this back. We'll go ahead and do catch you because it doesn't matter. And I'll just go ahead and then my turn. I'm wondering if he set that shit off fusion. If he did. Yeah, I should be okay. I'm gonna pop the back row. Because if it should if it's that shit all fusion, then I'll be so super happy. But I doubt it. I doubt he said it. Rather well, just go ahead and pop it. Okay, it was just a lance. I was, I was, I was really hoping that he shut the shit off fusion. I was really hoping that he did. So go ahead and activate it. Fucking shit off fusion, stupid. Like, what's up with OCG hitting everything but the fucking problem card shit off fusion? Like, that's a dumb one. Go ahead and play shit off fusion. Unless you're out of shit alls. There you go. No, that's fine. I'm just wondering who you're gonna go into. Ah, the stool. The stool is difficult. The stool is just like, wow. Yeah, fuck. He did exactly what I didn't want him to do. He went to the exact one that I didn't want to see. I was like, don't go into fucking window. Yeah, I lose. Yep, I lose. It's a move. 
Yeah, I'll just go ahead and fucking play Divine Wrath. I don't need fucking tour guide right now. I was hoping to get the fucking Skomata, but yeah, I lose. Uh, I fucking lose. Yeah, that's it. Uh, there's no way. There's no fucking way. Ah! Oh, got it! I hate Shadows! <laughs> I hate Shadows so fucking much. That fucking fusion! Like, that card is the problem! Don't You don't need to ban Construct, you don't need to hit Window, you don't need to hit Shadows, you hit fucking regular Shadows, because that's a stupid one! Like, really? Like, what were they thinking with that damn card? Oh my god, I hate that card. Ugh. So, yeah, I'd say maybe one drag heat. I'm still testing him, but, like, I don't like Burning Abyss. Like, I don't like the milling factor, but if you can go ahead and just put a Burning Abyss card on top of your deck, at least you know exactly what, at least you know one of the cards that you're going to be milling with Dante, and, uh, you can go ahead and put, like, Fire Lake on top of the deck and then draw into it, so, there you go. Like I said, I'm, I'm, like I said, I'm not sure how I feel about it, but, eh. I probably still just, I think, I still think maybe the Ritual Spell. Uh, the good and evil is a little bit better because you can just mill that and then you can use that You know pitch or burning event so we'll get that effect and then get that card to your hand So you have to wait till your next draw phase uh, So yeah uh, Then you have the card that ritual summons to new fusion monster. I mean ritual summons the new fusion monster Hello fusion card that fusions a new fusion monster because you know burning this had to have an exceed synchro uh, <laughs> a Ritual and a fusion so maybe they'll get a pendulum, but I think they're done like they said they were done this just it but uh, yeah uh, their fusion card, you just, uh, fusion summon a burning abyss fusion monster from your hand, functions just like poly, uh, except it has a bonus effect that if it's, it was a, during the turn that it's, uh, in your graveyard, some turn, you can banish it and boost one of your burning abyss by 100 attack to end the turn. Uh, that's kind of, eh, because burning abyss, oh, attack and defense by him. Burning abyss aren't really the attacking type, you know. I mean, in this duel, it would have been pretty useful, because I could have just, I can just boosted and fucking attacked over him. Like I said, uh, in this duel, my, when I play skilled, yeah, you know, just, I got out lucked. I think. You know, I opened up with two Firelikes, which is great, but I didn't know who's going to get double shit off fusion. Like, that card is just ridiculous. Like, it was, it was bad enough I had to deal with the trains, but then this fucking shit off fusion, the shit off too, it's just like, oh my god. Oh my god. Like, it's just too much. Too much? <laughs> just too much. So, like I said, Burning Abyss aren't really an attacking type, but I guess in some situations it's okay. I mean, in my opinion, I probably wouldn't even play the Ritual anyway. I probably wouldn't even play uh, the new Dante Ritual. Yeah, it's Dante fucking again. I think that's weird. Like, I, I, if I was an animator, I would totally animate a freaking video of Dante, and then the new feud in Dante, and then there's a picture of Virgil, and then Virgil just takes off his mask and it's fucking Dante. Like... Of course, because <laughs> it seems like Dante is just everybody in the set. Like, how, how are you? So, so Dante is two cards. Like, all right, all right. So, let me go ahead and find the effect of Dante the Pilgrim guy. Dante Pilgrim, I think it is. Pilgrim of the Burning Abyss. And determine whether I would run in that. It's killing two birds with one stone. I apologize for losing that duel, but that was, that was my duel to lose, like, I just tried and just like, the fucking shit else fucked me, I was like, please don't go into window, anybody but window, and it was window, of course, like, I'm glad I had to deal with the shit alls, but then the trains too, is just too much, like, to, at, least, at least I prevent the door, right, so Dante Pilgrim is a fairy fusion, fairy, alright, uh, level 9, my phone is being weird, hold on, yeah, I'm looking at this up on my phone, Fucking advertisements. Like, get out of here. Shit. <laughs> I'm on wiki on my phone. They just throwing bombarding it with advertisement. 2800 attack, 2500 defense. It's made with three Burning Abyss monsters with different names. So, I mean, you can go ahead and fuse with three Burning Abyss the same, same card, but you only get their effects once per turn, only once that turn. So, you can send three, but you only get one effect. But Konami's like, no, it's got to be with different names. Like, okay, and three. You know, two, I would have thought it was plenty, but three? I like, and eh, nah. Must be fusion summon cannot be special summon by other way, so you can't even bring it back with Sir. Uh, cannot be targeted by opponent's card effects. We already know that card's very that that fact right there that you can't be targeted is very powerful. Because uh, as we know, Yazi can't be targeted, powerful. And if Tony Bira can't be targeted, not bad. So you can't one to one it cast cast Dalit, nice. Uh, once per turn during either player's turn, you can send one Burning Abyss card 
from your hand to the graveyard, draw one card. So, uh, of course, during either player's turn, both your opponent's turn, your turn, go ahead and pitch the Burning Abyss card, draw a card, and then that Burning Abyss card will get its effect. So that card, that effect's actually pretty good. I don't blame that. And uh, this card is destroyed by battle. And it says by battle. And sends to the graveyard, or if this card you control sends to graveyard by card effect. I don't know why I didn't say if this card... Like I said, I just wanted to say that if it was destroyed by battle by card effects, because then if you just send it to the graveyard, you want to get the effect. So, destroy by battle, and sends to the graveyard, or if this card it, you control is sent to the graveyard by your opponent's card effect, you can select one random card in your opponent's hand and send it to the graveyard. So, yeah. Yeah. Um, like I said, you're going to go through all of this, you're going to go ahead and activate your uh, fusion, send three Burning Abyss, do different names, it has to be with different names, and you know, this guy can't be talking as nice, but remember, like, Destruction is popular right now, so, uh, you know, Mirror Force, Dark Hole, Regeki, you know, they're pretty popular right now, so, uh, I'm not sure if A, you'd want to run the fusion, or B, if it's worth it, I mean, I'm probably not, I just don't really see the point of it, like I said. Dante and Virgil or enough. I don't really need another Dante, but Alright, so I'm gonna go ahead and call that episode Dillendals. Overall, what do I think about the new Burning Abyss support? I don't think it's good enough to make them uh back in top seat. Definitely not. Um they've been falling out of favor, they're inconsistent, they mill. Um the tour guy hit hurt hit hurt more than uh, I thought it would. The vanities hurt and overall they're just not doing too well. Uh, I can definitely see them skating by on this upcoming list without getting hit at all. Cause at this point, they really don't need to get hit. Like, I guess the only card you can really hit is Fire Lake, but you don't even need to do that. Like, Burning Abyss are just not there. Not there right now. So, yeah. If that's really, if this is it for the Burning Abyss support, then I can easily see them just continuing on Burning Abyss, just never, uh, main, main deck support, just never getting hit because this isn't good enough right now. Uh, right now, the key is consistency. Uh, or hitting or hurting consistency and burning abyss, I try or like in purgatory in the middle where, uh, yes, they want to hit the consistent decks. So decks like you know like Shadows and uh, send you like to play mistake and hurt, hit the burning abyss. I mean and hit the the top decks uh, consistency like Teller Knights and uh, Necros, 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 I think it's Necros. Uh, hit their consistency because they're not consistent and burning this you know would, are one of those decks that can trouble the train except the problem is, is that mistake is a continuous trap that would be stuck on the field so they can't switch summon any of their burning abyss monsters and when tour guide hit down to one it just lowers the consistency that they'll be able to pull out dante and then you can go ahead and mill the cards that you side in with dante just like how light swords whenever they side in cards they just mill them because they're a milling based deck and you can clearly see how burning abyss just can't really keep up with uh, the decks are not consistent yet they can't play the uh, consistency hurting card because they you know, you get stuck or the mill like i said unless you know maybe when that uh one card that i forgot what it's called i forgot what it's called i'm gonna do a card review about it but the one's like a one turn mistake when that card comes out maybe i definitely say burning abyss if uh like the current decks are still the current decks and you know tie consistently burning abyss i definitely recommend you play that because you can't play a mistake like that and it just kind of sucks Alright, now I'm calling it episode. So, uh, thanks for watching, thanks for all the support. Uh, I apologize that I got sacked in both duels. Like, amazing that I couldn't get really a good duel in with Burning Abyss, but I tried. Can't say I didn't. So, uh, thanks for watching, thanks for all the support. Like I said, tomorrow I'm gonna go ahead and do the deck profile for Fire Fist because I'm tired of that deck. Like, I got the gist of it. It was cute at first, but now it's just it's the same thing. So, I'm done with that, and then you'll go ahead and get the deck that will be replacing it on Daily Duels. Alright. For Fridays. So thanks for watching. Thanks for the support. Yeah. See you guys tomorrow.